Cheers. <laughs>this angle does not even show it doesn't do it justice you can't comprehend how much meat is actually on this tray this right here is nine ribs two pounds of brisket and two sausage links yo this is insane here's the brisket everybody here we go two pounds of this is insane mm. Wow. And to be honest though, the brisket in New York is, I mean, the barbecue in New York is very sh So, this is kind of insane for me. Texas, hook them horns. It took us an hour to get seated, no joke. So here's the rib, and the rib looks delicious. Cheers. <laughs> well, I'm not gonna lie, I think I like this more than the brisket. Oh my God. Wow. If I didn't live in New York, I'd probably live in Texas. Based on nothing but food. The brisket, I needed the sauce. The rib, I don't need the sauce. No. Wow. Obviously, I don't know if this is the best barbecue in Houston. Uh, my friends like it. And that's good enough for me. It's ranked the best in Houston. It looks beautiful too on camera. Really? Uh-huh. <laughs> I like the flavor on this rib, it's really good. Look at this monster. It's unfortunate that I prefer the, the rib over the brisket. Well, the brisket's good. That's also a lot, I feel like I'm gonna die. <laughs>
Hi, how are you? Uh, do you mind if I ask you a question real quick? Yeah, so I just want to know, what can one do to stop being shy? <laughs> yeah, there's no one here. I was too shy to uh, actually go up to someone and ask them. You're probably thinking to yourself, wow, Eric, you're a piece of sh**. I can't believe you baited us like that. Or you're thinking, wow, Eric, so you are shy. You lied to us. I had the way to lose loose for me, so I think I really will ask someone just so that you guys don't, uh, you know, get too mad at me. Excuse me, uh, do you mind if I ask you a question for a school project? Do you mind being on camera or anything? Or you can just, you know, answer with your voice. Okay, sounds good, yeah. <laughs> if you are a shy person, what can you do to be a little less shy? I think you have to try to go to people and start a conversation. So I think that will help, but it's scary, I think, yeah, when you're shy. Awesome. But start little. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thanks yeah. so much for your time, appreciate it. Okay. Have a great day and enjoy your meal. Okay. It's not always that easy, but sometimes it really is that easy. Some of you guys are gonna flame me. You're gonna say, oh, well that doesn't count. They didn't want to be on camera. I mean, what can I do about that? She didn't want to be on camera, all right? At least I got like a conversation, right? I'm on my way home now, but I know, I know there's gonna be someone out there that's gonna flame me. They're gonna say, that's not a real interview. That's not a real, yeah, whatever, because they weren't on camera. I'm a man of the people though. I'll find someone. Ah, never mind. I would love to, but the subway is here, so not today, guys. So sorry. Hey, hello. You guys mind if I ask you a question for a school project? Is that cool with you guys? You don't want to do it? Are you down? Okay. You mind if I sit next to you? Yeah, it's okay. Alright, cool. So, oh, wait, uh, I get off next. Oh, that, that's cool. I'll, I'll make it real quick. Are you shy? Uh, I'd say I'm a little shy. Yeah. Okay, I'm a little shy too. If you had to give advice on how to not be shy, what would you say? I'd say you like should hang around the group of people who you like have things in common with so you could open up easier in front of them and be able to talk to them about things you like and it'll start the conversation going and through those people you can make connections with other people and their friends and it's pretty much how you can make friends and open up yourself. That's great advice. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. You're welcome. What's your name? Marcos. Nice to meet you Marcos. I'm Eric. Thank you for your time, appreciate it. That's good, right? I'm gonna have to blur out the face though, because she would actually kill me if I put it in the video. Rice is cooking right now, but... For dinner tonight, I am going to be making a Krah Pao inspired dish. Notice I did not call it Krah Pao specifically. Because I know a lot of people are passionate about their culture's food, so... I don't want any Thai people watching this thinking to themselves, that is not f***ing crop out. Inspired, okay? Inspired. Let's just go with that. There's a ton of different recipes out there. There are tons of variations. This is just what Viv and I like. Anyway, let's get started. Also, wow, I need to shave. Damn. I think it looks kind of cool though. Okay, so for protein, there's a lot of different things that you can do. I like to use three different ingredients for the protein. I'm gonna start off with some mushrooms. And then I also have some frozen ground beef down there and I am waiting for it to thaw, which is our second protein. <laughs> so 
So far, we have mushrooms and tofu, and then we're also going to be using some ground beef as soon as it thaws, just waiting on that. And that's also what I mean by crop how inspired, because I'm not really sure I've seen a recipe where they use tofu, mushroom, and beef. But you can really use any protein you want. And this is just a combo that Viv and I really like. There are a few other ingredient differences that don't exactly make this crop how, but you'll definitely see what I mean when I say it's a bit similar. We still have a little bit more to do before we cook this and we need to chop up some garlic. But it's almost 9 p.m. so I'm feeling a little lazy. So I'm just gonna use some uh, already minced garlic from Costco. Also check this out. We have a light here, but it's not too strong. It's okay, but it's just not as bright as I want it. Then I realized that under the microwave, this part right here, it's actually magnetic. And I also happen to have this little magnetic LED light that is magnetic back here. And it pops right on. Yeah, that's cool. I don't know why I shared that with you. I don't know if anyone cares, but yeah, it's cool. I forgot. Not only do I need garlic, I also need onions. And then right here, I got some frozen Thai chili peppers, which is very important for this dish. I am so sorry, but I really messed up. Uh, I made the dish and I just completely forgot to press record. So yeah, I'm pretty pissed. Let me explain what you guys missed, like me putting in. Honestly, it wasn't too much. I just put in a bunch of fish sauce and then also oyster sauce. And most recipes call for sugar, but instead I liked to use some sweet honey uh, chili oil. And then I put in red hot chili flakes and some MSG. Imagine me putting all of that stuff in and that's what I did. But I'm really sorry for not recording. Anyway, this is what it looks like right now. It smells delicious. <coughs> the last ingredient is basil. Well, not the last ingredient, but it's close to the last. This basil is the reason that I cannot call this dish crop Hao because crop Hao uses Thai holy basil. Or is it just holy basil? I don't know, but, and this, I don't know what kind of basil it is, but I know it's not holy basil. And I know that holy basil was like one of the key ingredients in crop Pao. I'm making do with what I got. <clears throat> By the way, here is the rice from earlier. Perfectly cooked. Viv likes this much rice. Unreal. I also like to put in some lime, and the acidity on this is really nice. Viv also likes it, so we're gonna give her some. If you're looking at this, you might be thinking, wow, Eric, you're the goat. For those of you that know what crop out looks like, oh, wait, never mind, I shouldn't say that, because this is a crop out inspired dish. Regular crop out has one more ingredient that goes on top. No, come on, please. No, it broke again. Go ahead, I want you to eat the first bite. She didn't even say it. Mm. It's good? Mm -hmm. You like that? It's really good. Cheers. Mmm. Uh. Mmm. What should we call this crop how inspired dish? Eric's crop how. But it's not crop how. 
It's okay. I think it's still close I, enough. Yeah. The reason that I can't use holy basil is because I don't know where to find it. I, I have absolutely no idea. Aside from the holy basil, it's pretty true to your like standard recipe, aside from using like sweet chili oil instead of sugar. Correct me if I'm wrong, for, you know, any Thai people out there. God, it kind of feels like I'm sucking my own dick because I'm just enjoying my own food so much. What would you like to see different about this dish for it to be elevated or better? More citrus. Everything I like about like a taste, the spice, it has all of the things that I like in, in here. Mm -hmm. Which is why I like it so much. If you love Pad Kra Pao, also sorry if I'm pronouncing it wrong. If you love it, if you know a lot about it, or if you're just Thai, please let me know if you would eat my Pad Kra Pao inspired dish. I wish I could feed you guys through the screen. That would be, that'd be really cool. So you guys could experience what I'm experiencing, but. I didn't focus. I didn't focus? No. It's okay. Or. Give me suggestions on how I can make this better, aside from getting holy basil, because I, I I just don't know where to get it. The ground beef, mushroom, and tofu combo, that's here to stay. Mm -hmm. Babe really likes it. Anyway, I'm gonna finish this up, and um, I'll see you guys later. on a Wednesday. We got Korean fried chicken leftovers, kimchi, and some beer. What a great way to start our days. Shout out YouTube, of course, for letting me live this lifestyle, and shout out to you guys. This is Korean fried chicken from uh, Mad for Chicken. Viv and I ordered it two days ago, I think, when we came back from, uh, from Texas. Definitely better than I thought it would be. Uh, skin's crispy, the, the flavors are nice. It's, you know, soy garlic, spicy soy garlic. First bite, here we go. And this is Viv's mom's kakdugi, which is uh, radish, radish kimchi. Normally you would eat Korean fried chicken with mu, which is the pickled radish that you see usually, but we just like to eat it with kimchi because kimchi's fire. What else do I want to talk about? How's your life? How's my life? Yeah, how are you feeling? Amazing. <laughs> Actually, I was telling Viv this yesterday. She was asking me if I was happy. Or if I enjoyed life, right? Is that what you said? Or do I like life? And my answer was, are you kidding me? I love life. I was laying in bed like this. I said, uh, bro, I've been in the happiest relationship of my life for the past three years. I live in this amazing apartment. I got a roof over my head. I'm able to pay rent. I have a beautiful family. <laughs> yeah, Terry. <laughs> I'm able to buy food and provide for myself and for Viv. And most of all, I get to do what I want because of YouTube. And so yeah, I love life. Life has been amazing. Ugh. I've been liking beer a lot lately. Wait, why was I talking about that? Did you ask me? I asked him how are you Oh yeah. In case you were wondering how my life was going, guys. It's going well. There's really not much in my life that's worth complaining about in the grand scheme of things, in the big picture. Aside from like, you know, my dad dying. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that sucked. How have you guys, um, how have you guys been enjoying this video so far? You know, in the last video, I was, I, I was talking about how I don't do anything in my videos and I hope that's okay. Well, I said that and I, I was trying to give you guys like a side eye to see what your responses were. Um, I was hoping that you guys would say, no, Eric, your life is so exciting and fun. Like you, you do so much. But all the comments were like, that's okay, Eric. You don't do shit, but we like it. Just basically reaffirming that I really don't do shit. <laughs> but I'm glad that you guys like the uh, the videos and just my life, I guess. I really do appreciate you guys. Anyway, I'm gonna finish this up. Clean the apartment, actually, yeah, I gotta clean the apartment a little bit. And then Champions League, Arsenal and Porto, 
and Barcelona versus Napoli, I think. Yeah. So I will be watching that with great interest, and I will probably be betting on it too. Speaking of betting, my college friends and I, we're going to Vegas next week, I think. If there's any food recommendation or spots in Vegas, I guess, let me know. <laughs> what, is the food not good there? No, you just gotta go to like hotels for restaurants. Oh, uh, okay. I've never been there before, so I have no idea. Uh, I was going to clean, and I had a bunch of stuff to do, but Viv is forcing me to watch this stupid show. It's so dumb. It's called uh, Love is Blind. Nobody? It's and one of Eric's favorite shows. <laughs> It's not. It is. <laughs> it's really not. You were so invested with Tiffany and Brett. She She's lying to you guys, as all women do. I'm just, it's just so annoying because, like, I'm trying to do work, like, here at my desk. Um, and the TV is on on the other side. Oh, how, I mean, how can I say no to Viv, right? She's like, Eric, come watch the show with me. So I have, like, no choice but to just watch. Like my weekend. <sighs> it's so annoying. Yeah, we're back here at the table eating uh, dinner. We just uh, ordered some pizza from uh, Rose's Pizza in Brooklyn. You guys are not going to believe this, but since eating lunch and watching the uh, Champions League game, I didn't really do much. I got a little tipsy. I watched Love is Blind with Viv, and then we cuddled for like two hours. She's hiding from the camera right now, but we did. That, you know, that's not really something I'm gonna put like in a YouTube video, you know? I think I said I was gonna clean the apartment. I didn't clean. Also, the reason that we got pizza is because Viv really wants it, so. Is she done? Yeah, she's done. All right, Trace, come here. Oh, I got a little baby. Righty. Come on, I feel so. So cute, you little baby. Yes, you are. You what about me? What about me? Oh yeah, Viv and Viv. I'm gonna feed the dogs real quick, and then I'm going to just obliterate the toilet and uh, take a shower because I'm feeling a little oily, and I realize I haven't showered in like a day and a half. I know not everyone loves this part, so I am giving you a very, very fair warning. I feel it in my stomach right now. I know it's coming. You know, heed this warning. So, skip. Oh, it's coming. I don't know. I, I just I just don't understand. What the f I don't know how people say that I don't do anything because I'm fighting for my fucking life every day, man. Oh, I got goosebumps. Ugh. Straight goosebumps. Ah, f man. Ooh la la. Oh shit, goddamn. Yesterday, we abruptly stopped recording because Viv, it's nothing definitive yet, but Viv is uh, experiencing an eye problem right now. I have no idea if I'll be able to pronounce this correctly, but it's anisocoria. So here are two pictures of Viv's eye. One of them is what her pupil usually looks like. And then her left eye, it's just, it's enormous. I was up late. Last night, uh, researching, I was Googling stuff like... He was freaking out. <laughs> <laughs> I have anis, I have anisocoria. Should I go to the ER? Uh, Reddit. <laughs> and then I would look at a bunch of threads with people that had or have anisocoria. And so I'm freaking out more than Viv is. It could be nothing, but at the same time, it's indicative of a potential problem going on. One of them being a f***ing tumor or something like pressing against her optic nerve. I have no idea. I'm not, a, I'm not a medical professional. All I know is that it is something that needs to get checked out. So we're going to go to the ER now. I'm feeling a little sick, to be honest, even though it's not me that's affected because I'm just so worried. I couldn't sleep last night. <laughs> uh, I'm sure Viv isn't feeling good either. So it must be really stressful for her. And uh, yeah, it just sucks. I hope you like my fried rice. Yeah, Viv, uh, Viv made fried rice. Kaktuvi fried rice with Spam, some mozzarella cheese, and king. It looks delicious, my love. You, you are definitely the better cook. <laughs> <laughs> we're just eating right now uh, because Viv, after her interview, we're just gonna rush to the ER and we have no, we have no idea um, how long we're gonna be there, so. 
Mmm, it's so delicious and I'm just sad that I'm not really in the mood to be eating right now. I really hope it's nothing. I really, really hope it's nothing. Hello my friends, I am back home right now and it is currently at the hospital. We have been at the hospital for about seven hours now, which is insane, and it's it's still not over. It's uh, it's pretty bad. Uh, well, I don't actually know if it's bad or not, but so let me just explain real quick before I head back out. We went to the emergency room, we waited, Viv got her vitals checked, and the, the reason why I'm nervous is because it just kept escalating. So she got her vitals checked, and then the assistant came in, and I, actually, I, I'm sorry if assistant isn't the right term, I, I don't really know, but um, she came in, she looked at Viv, she looked at her eye, and she was like, okay, chill. I'm gonna, well, she didn't say chill, but the body language was like, oh, I'm gonna get my supervisor. So then the ED doctor came in, and he looked at the eye, and he was like, chill. He didn't say chill, but he was like, whoa, okay, I'm gonna go call an ophthalmologist I know, because the hospital we went to doesn't have an ophthalmologist. Am I pronouncing that? Am I pronouncing that right? Let me see. Ophthalmologist. Ophthalmologist, whatever. Anyway, uh, it's not even the focus right now, but well, I would hate to be pronouncing something incorrectly. That's like a pet peeve of mine when I in when I incorrectly pronounce something and yeah, whatever. So then the ophthalmologist says, yo, let me see a picture. Uh, so we send it and everything. And he basically says, yo, chill. You need to come in to the ophthalmology, uh, whatever. Plan was to discharge Viv tonight and go to the ophthalmologist tomorrow. But he eventually decided that it was a better idea to go right now. So Viv is on her way to the hospital right now where the ophthalmologist is. As you can see, she is in the ambulance right now. The reason that I'm home is because we were there for seven hours and eventually I was like, yo, the dogs need to be walked. I'm gonna head to the hospital now. Don't really feel like recording the subway ride there and all that, so just gonna transition. Oh my God, we're finally done. Are you okay? Oh, 12 hours, guys. Oh, wait, no, 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 14, no. No, oh, 15, almost 15. And uh, all that for a CT scan. I don't think that should take 15 minutes. The US healthcare system is an absolute travesty. We wanted to eat, we didn't eat dinner. We didn't eat anything at all. Uh, and there's, uh, there's Popeyes right there, but it's almost 3 a.m., so. It's, yeah, they're closing. The emergency department experience was an absolute abomination. Absolutely just f Kings County Hospital Center. Viv and I are just gonna order a Lyft or an Uber home because it's 3 a.m. We're not trying to take the subway or anything, so. Got a CT scan done and there were no abnormalities that popped up. Just to be safe, they want her to go into the ophthalmologist again, like the clinic. At mon on Monday. It seems like they think it's like I made a touch my eye contact. Oh, it looks way better right now. Yeah. It looks way, way better. Like, Wait, let me let me see the eye one time. It looks way, way better. It's still like yeah, it's still a little bigger, bigger, but before it was like enormous. Yeah, so I'm thinking it's gonna go away. I okay. Like I, I shot. Like I just feel like I jumped the gun. Okay, well, you didn't jump the gun. Everyone around you told you to jump the gun. Including yeah. you. Okay, yeah, well, <laughs> I was worried. That's it for today. I'm sorry that it was a uh, nothing burger, probably. I'll give you guys an update when Viv goes back like to the clinic, but uh, we'll just resume the video like with our normal... I don't know. I, I don't even know if I'm going to put this in, but I probably will just so that you guys see what's going on, you know? By the way, please let me know if the audio is decent because I'm filming on the uh, DJI Pocket 3, but but I'm not using the wireless mic just because I was really lazy. So I want to know if the built-in audio, because the camera has a built-in uh, microphone as well, I want to know if that sounds decent. They have Euros. Oh, okay, let me get the lamb over rice, or the combo, and let me get a Euro. Let me get a lamb Euro. Okay. Yeah. We are back home now. Well, Viv is back home now. I was here a little earlier. I'm not Well, not a little earlier. I was here. I was here seven hours ago, which is insane. And Viv's got her lamb platter over here. I have a lamb euro, and then I also have the combo platter. Maybe, uh, maybe three years ago, I would have eaten both of these right now, but 
you know, times are changing. I'm getting a little older. My metabolism isn't what it used to be. So I'm just gonna eat the gyro. Oh my God, bro. I'm a bust a nut. Sometimes I say I'm gonna bust a nut. I'm not even chubbed up, but I'm gonna bust a nut. First bite, here we go. Mm. It is so good. It's like ridiculous. It's so good. It is 3.22 a.m. Normally, we don't eat this late unless we're coming back from like drinking, but I think we deserve this just for tonight. They're hot sauces. The red sauce is actually spicy as well. Okay, I lied. I'm gonna eat this too. Oh, what's this combo? Why is the meat red? Chicken. Mmm. First bite, here we go. That's amazing. Viv's gonna go shower now, because she feels oily, which is fair. I'm gonna shower too, but I'm gonna eat my shit first. Guys, I'm, uh, I'm really tired, so I think what I'll do is just, I don't really feel like talking to the camera anymore for today. I'm really sorry. I'm just going to uh, finish this meal, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. I love coming here because it reminds me how I used to literally live in that white building. And that's where I met Eric. <laughs> yeah. Fun fact, but Viv and I actually met on Pacific Street in Brooklyn because Viv lived, yeah, I'll show you. I'm gonna leave Viv alone for a second. So if you walk down this way, she used to live right here at 485 Pacific Street. I would drive in from Jersey and there was street parking here. So I would just find a place to park somewhere along the street. And yeah, it was nice. I'd come walking down out of these steps, walking Terry or helping Viv walk Terry. And she would go pee right over here on these bricks. There used to be dirt here, but now it's just bricks. You guys also may have noticed that when I go to the gym, when I walk to the gym, I'm actually walking on Pacific Street. And I do it because it's a nice street and it reminds me of like when we first met. So it's nice. By the way, um, do you want to tell them about your eye? It's literally like two days I had one dilated pupil here, normal pupil here. Went to the emergency room, spent 14 hours, wasted my day, and then it went back to normal. She didn't even end up going to the clinic because she just thought it was a waste of time. After the CT scan came out negative, she was just like, I'm not going to the clinic, so she didn't go. And uh, hopefully, I mean, I, I told her to go, guys. Mind you, I'm unemployed, no health insurance. Well, well I do, well, but like, not good. Anyway, I'm glad that's all over, and I'm really glad that Viv is okay for the time being. Hopefully that shit never comes back again, because that was really scary for me. I'm sure for her too. I was chilling. Oh, okay. Well, I was really worried for her. I was getting in my own head though. Reddit was, it was baiting me. Right now, Viv and I are just going on a walk for no particular reason. We don't have a destination in mind. We are just walking down Pacific Street because it's a nice walk. Well, it's nicer when the trees are out and uh, green. Well, I mean, the trees are always out, but you know what I mean. I think by the time you guys are watching this video, I'll be flying to Vegas. So uh, hopefully I can, you know, get this video out by then. If I don't, I know people are going to flame me, so I probably will get it done. Anything you want to say? No. <laughs> okay. Yeah, Viv's really tired, guys. Viv's been on the job hunt, and it's been... It's been a grind, for sure. So, she's getting interviews. Hopefully she breaks through with one of them. But if any of you guys out there have a job opening in New York City... Uh, oh, well. I don't... I uh, don't know. <laughs> no. Why not? Dude, you know what's awkward? I can, I cannot do that. Being interviewed by like an HR or like a manager who watches your videos, I would, like I can't do that. Yeah, I guess also, not. Also, I've been knowing, noticing an influx of people looking at my <laughs> profile on LinkedIn. on LinkedIn and I just want you guys to know I have premium. I know who you are who's looking at it like, some of you guys have been looking at it like every day, like every day. Very good, how are you? And those 
our green tea soba noodles. Yeah, we're just going to, uh, she made like a, a sauce for it. Gonna keep it simple and light today. By the way, I put the hat on because my hair is a little messy right now. Once we came back from our walk, Viv was just getting ready for her uh, her interview. Well, like it was a, it was more of a, just like a, let's get to know each other kind of call. Hopefully it turns into something. So here is the soba with a bunch of uh, dried seaweed on top. And then Viv is eating some leftover halal garlic knots, which we got like a week ago, I think. While Viv was making this, I was cleaning the apartment, uh, but I didn't record like any of it because not everything in my life needs to be recorded and put on YouTube. It, except I am a YouTuber, so maybe maybe I should do that. But <laughs> yeah, I just I just wasn't feeling it today. Well, I was feeling it, but I just wasn't feeling it in the moment. So at Tanichi, we got these noodles specifically because these are green tea soba noodles. So if you like matcha, this is for you. You can actually taste the matcha flavor. It's very delicious. As for the sauce, actually, let me show you guys. It's soy sauce, plum syrup, lemon juice, and water, pretty much. And then she also puts in raw red onions and a soft boiled egg. Uh, perilla oil. And perilla oil. Wait, really? That's it? You leaked the recipe to me. I used to ask Viv how she made her sauce and she refused to tell me because she wanted to be able to make this so that I needed her if I ever wanted to eat soba. Now I know, but don't worry, I still need her. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. There is one thing I'd like to apologize for in this video. And it's that I haven't been saying first bite, here we go, as I'm eating. When the cameras are on, I'll do a better job of doing that. Let's just pretend like this is my first bite, okay? First bite, here we go. The first bite and the last bite really are the best bites though. Garlic knot, first bite, here we go. Ooh, you want me to pull it apart for you guys? Oh, beautiful. Is this not boring for you guys? I just feel so bad. I feel like this entire video has been me in this exact spot, just eating food. Right. Week, we week, gotta, what? You gotta stop apologizing. Yeah, but it's just like, it's the same thing week after week. I'll be editing the video and I'll just think to myself like, damn, these guys have seen this like 50 times this year. <sighs> Good meal. Good meal. And now I'm going to, um, I think I'll edit my video. <laughs> Money's not Eric. Money's not Eric. 